All right, now, let's make things a little bit more exciting whenever we talk about our systems of inequalities. Um, in the previous videos, they were just linear inequalities, so nothing special, just lines. But let's throw in some nice non-linear inequalities. Now, for this first one right here, we've got to think about what the shape of this guy is. The square tells me that I have a parabola. The negative tells me that this parabola is going to be opening upside down. So I know that much about the shape so far. Since it's equal to, I know that it will be solid. Less than tells me I'm going to be shading below. The plus 5 means I'm going to be going up 5. And now we just put all that information together. So I didn't move left or right any. I just went from my normal vertex at 0, 0. I go up 5, and then I'm going to be opening down. So remember those key points for the parabola, 1, 1, 2, 4, and 3, 9. So 1, 1, 2, 4, and 3, 9. I'm going down because of the negative in front of this guy. Just reflect these points across the axis of symmetry, and draw your line or draw your curve. All right, now this is a solid line because the inequality was less than or equal to. And for this guy, I'm going to be shading below. Now I don't want to shade this whole thing in just yet. Just put little arrows showing that you are going to be shading below this. Okay, something simple like this, we know that we're going to be shading basically inside this parabola. Now let's look at the other inequality that we have. We see that this guy is an absolute value, so he has that V shape. The greater than symbol tells me that I'm going to be dashed. And since it's greater than, I'm going to be shading above. The rest of the information here that we have for the absolute value tells me that I need to go to the left one unit and then go down four. It's the information that I get from this right here. Uh, the three halves tells me my slope, so I'm going to be going up three and over two. So I'm going to put all of this information together, go to the left one, down four, since I'm greater than but not equal to, I have to use open circles for these guys. Now use my slope, up 3 and over 2. Go until I run out of room, and then I'm going to do the same thing here on the other side. Up 3 over 2. I've got my key points. Now I just need to dash my graph. and get it on the other side as well. Now, this says I need to shade above. Okay, so it's greater than. So I know I, know, I, know I need to shade above here, so basically inside this V-shape. So where do these guys intersect? Well, to be above the green and below the blue is going to be this section right in here. And that's it. Now we do have to make sure that we know what happens where these graphs intersect. At the intersection points I do not get to include that. At the intersection points would be where I'm on both the parabola and the absolute value. Since the absolute value is not included this guy will not be able to be included either. So anything touching this parabola below it, and getting as close to this absolute value as you want will be our solution set.